right, we got the bed cleaned up pretty good. And uh, we're gonna push it into the shop here, get out of the sun a little bit and clean the inside. Pretty good. Nice. No breaks. No breaks. Yeah, we gotta get some brakes on it. Call. <laughs> that 
that one of your uh, turkey calls? wheel off and see what the how the brakes are looking. All right, well, probably going to need some new pads, huh? <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of work there. We need to get this uh, caliper off, change the hoses. Hopefully the drums will be good if we can reuse the drums that'd be great get them turned if we need to hopefully we can reuse the calipers get that cleaned up replace the master cylinder all right let's get the inside cleaned up a little bit it's gonna take uh, a lot so we won't get it all done today but at least we can get started Get this cleaned up. Look at these spider webs and stuff in here. Wasp spiders. All kinds of critters in there. There is a funky smell in here. Not sure what it is, but it is pretty funky. So, let's maybe uh, get this off. And pull out this and let it air out because there's definitely something nasty in there. All right, stand by. I want to try to save this. I don't know if this actually went to this truck. Some people are saying maybe it came out of a different vehicle. Um, but it's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get it out of here without messing it up. need a Phillips head. <clears throat> Might need a bigger one. Maybe one of these will work.
All right, so we got one, two, three, four out. This one is stripped. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can cut a little flathead strip in there without trying, trying not to cut the trim. Um, see if that works. Probably need to drill it out. Yeah, we need to drill it out. Let's see if we can get this bracket off before it rips my rips into my arm or something. It's pretty close here, so get it out of the way if we can. It's a 916. what's on the other side. All right guys, so it's the next day. Got a little uh, hot, ran out of time yesterday. So today we're going to finish pulling off these trim pieces so we can get the floor out. We're probably gonna have to pull the seat out. And the goal is just to get this floor mat out get all the moisture out of here, let it air out and see what kind of rust damage we have underneath. Get all the critters and the dirt and the mold out of here and make it look nice. This is some of the stuff we got out yesterday. Pressure washed the back, got it cleaned up pretty good. All right, let's do it. All right, so I need to finish getting out this trim piece here. This one got stripped, so I gotta drill it out. Yeah, some moisture under there. A little wet, a little rusty. That's why I gotta get this out of here so we can get this uh, dried out and patch those floors up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna need to get this seat out. Got my buddy Dave here. He's gonna help us out. Yeah, man. What's up, dude? Let's get that seat out of there. Let's do it. And maybe we can sit in it. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, a couple bolts on each side. Let's figure out what size we need and uh, get that thing out of there. All right, we're going to slide the seat forward. We've got two bolts here two bolts over there nine sixteenths let's get these out hopefully they're not rusted shit on there and uh then we'll get the ones off the front you got a socket or 
What do you got? A, a wrench? Yeah. This ain't gonna work back here. We're let's, gonna need a socket. Mm -hmm. Let's get a socket. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Well, that worked pretty good. Came right out. <laughs> It's a beast. What's up with these seat belts? All right. Boy! There we go. Got it. Mm -hmm. So these are going to be a little trickier, huh? Yeah, they are. We're going to have to slow. Looks like a quarter turn this time. Good lord. Yeah, I don't see any other way we can get in there. Uh -uh. The good thing is there's no, hardly any rust on the head of that bolt. That's so. good. That's a box. We got to get a box wrench in there. Mm hmm. You got one on that side? Yep. Hey, just so you know. I loosened that one for you already. Oh, this one's this way? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's still pretty tight. Mm -hmm. You ain't got arms like in Milwaukee. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. <clears throat> Feels like it's getting tighter. Lefty Lucy, right? I think it's, I think it's, uh, oh, this one's getting tighter. Yeah, I think it's righty. Righty, untidy. <laughs> I think this is opposite. Yeah, it is. On this righty, one. Hey, we got a new saying. Righty, untidy. Yeah. Righty, <laughs> Lucy. Lucy, something. This is backward. That's all I'm saying. Not, mine's getting tight again. Yeah. Something's not right. Something's. Yeah, I, think, I think we're getting a rough spot in it. So Maybe. I want to put something down in there. Maybe something's spinning underneath. Yeah, so the threads are just rusted. So it's getting real tight on the way out. There we go. Good lord. <laughs> yeah? It's out. Finally. All right, it is out. Look at that. What do we got, some money? Look at that old quarters thing. <laughs> Made in USA. Wow, that's an old one. I think I found chicken nugget. Chicken nugget, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they last forever. Yeah. What year is this dime? I don't know, can you see a year on there? I got worse eyesight than you, man. I couldn't see it. Yeah, hold on. Get in the sun. What's that? Nickel? Or penny? Seventy-five. Seventy-five? Yep. Wow. I wonder if that's been in here since seventy-five. Seventy-five. That's crazy. And the penny is uh that's an old one. Yeah, getting the light to see it. It's like hard. It's, yeah, it looks like it says 67 or something. Well, let's check those later. 
or maybe 87. 81. That metal looks really good in here. Does it? Oh yeah. Nice. So let's see if we can get this out without damaging it because it's perfect. Yeah. We need to get this one off first and then slowly peel this out. I mean, it's got a hole here, which kind of sucks, but if we could preserve it, that'd be awesome. We might mess it up trying to pull it out, but we'll do the best we can. Get all this cleaned up in here, get it dry so there's no more moisture and uh, try to reduce the rust damage as much as possible. But yeah, look at all that room in there now. I know. You could Just almost sleep. Chair in here. You could sleep in here. Just put a lawn chair in here. <laughs> a lazy boy. I need to turn that air conditioner on, man. It's getting hot. Here we go. All right, we got one out, the other one broke, and this one's stripped, so we're just gonna try to drill it out. Head came off. getting there Let's see if we can pull this up real quick man it is wet and nasty under here wow look at that that's pretty bad I didn't realize it was that bad Pretty much. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize it was that bad. That's crazy. Yeah, man. so you can get a full view yeah we're gonna get this out of here it might be a little tricky getting it over that high beam switch and around those pedals but let's see if maybe you can pull it that way I got it free over here All right. what I need to do is I need to cut it towards me yeah try not to rip it mm -hmm. get it loose up here and then I gotta pull it towards me off that pedal. There you go. Wow. That's pretty bad. Will it fit out that way? Yeah. I know. Yeah, could you imagine finding one that was mint? I would love to find one 100% original mint. That silverfish. He's right there. What'd you find? A little silverfish. Oh. This 
thing come out. It's got something holding it here. Is that bracket just for this thing? It's weird. Weird. You got it? Yeah. Oh, this was uh, this was for the CB, I think. Goes to the antenna. Connected to a CB. I think that's what that was for. Yeah, look at that original paint right there. That's beautiful too, man. God, it feels all like that. What do you think that color is right there for? Why is that like that? That's just a, uh, in the factory, I guess they were spraying. Yeah, they just didn't have it. And there was something sitting there or something. Maybe there was a sticker there or something, but that's some kind of primer. Yeah. I guess they didn't have to worry about it. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know if it's worth fixing. What do you guys think? How, uh, have you guys done this before? Have you replaced the floors in one of these? And you have any tips or tricks you can share? Comment below. Is it worth repairing? How difficult is it? I've never done it before. I'm assuming you could cut it out and buy a floor panel and weld it in there. You might be able to do that. Um, I'm just not sure if if it's worth it. Uh, but um, we're gonna get the rest of this rust out of here. Maybe uh, maybe blow it out and spray it out real good so it can dry out in the sun, and at least we can stop the rust a little bit and assess, you know, ex um, and just determine whether or not we can do it see how much it costs to get the metal and all that stuff but we're finding more and more issues obviously the hoods rusted out and the uh, top of the cab has some rust issues so it's going to be a project the old swamp dragon needs some love but we're going to get it running. At least we can get in it and start it up and drive it, do the brakes, and uh, maybe just get it to where we can drive it for now around the farm. Have our legs hang out like the Flintstones. Yeah, let's just have our feet hang out the bottom. <laughs> but, you know, uh, maybe we'll replace the floors. That might be a fun project. I'm not sure. And then we still got the camper to figure out what we're going to do with if we're going to try to save it or blow it up or run it over with a bulldozer or something. But uh, let's spend a little bit of time. Let's spend a little bit of time getting this cleaned up and we'll go from there. Let's get this cleaned up a little bit. It smells funky. Can you smell it? I want to. It's wet horse hair. Let's see what's happening here. I get the, I get the unsavable side. I don't think either side saved. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Mm.
put a little Bondo in there. Some mm -hmm. of that fiberglass. <laughs> what is, resin. What does Roy use? He uses that uh, horse hair. Tiger yeah. hair. Tiger hair. Yeah. You guys heard of tiger hair before? Tiger hair. The uh, wed says use mar glass. Mar glass. I don't know. I think uh, we should cut it out. Put a new piece of metal in there. Or we yeah. could just put a piece of wood in there. I've seen that before. What's mm. the indoor outdoor carpet in? <laughs> Indoor outdoor carpet would be good. All you gotta do is cut that out. You can order pans, you can order half pans or full pans. Cut that whole piece out, and you'll have to address this problem over by the rocker. You can get a rocker for it, replace that rocker back there. Whatever. Same thing over there. Cut it out and make it in. Sounds easy, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> good. Just cut it out and put it in. The nice part is you have, you don't have to make it, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be paint quality. It's going to be covered up with uh, floor mat. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you just uh, you just weld it in place and clean it up a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. You know, the cab mounts is probably in trouble. So... Cut it out along that seam, along that seam. Get that replaced. We'll have new pans and I'll ride it out cap. You guys look how perfect that is right there. Get an issue up here. The top of the cab has got pinholes in it. Yeah. For sale. For sale. <laughs> to the highest bidder. <laughs> this trucks a, needs a little TLC. Ran when parked. Do the headlights work? You got rotted out floor panels. <laughs> I mean, do the headlights work? Are they working? I don't know. Want to work on them? <laughs> I want to get the go. lights working. If the lights work, then that means the it washers works. work. Which wipers? It's got life to it. I think we should work on the AC. <laughs> it would be nice to have AC right now. <laughs> uh, All right. Next project. What's next? Something's coming. Did you expect that passenger floor to look like that, Tom? He oh, said, yeah. I, he said you got to solve something from the end, right? I was talking to it. And I said, oh, let's see. So, hey, we're uh, the Flintstone Mobile at this point. So the small thing, that's what I said. Uh, so the swamp this was sitting in, how deep was it uh, buried when you guys dug it out? Oh, it was it was above ground, but you know, the tires were all flat. It was sitting. Frank was on the ground. No, no, didn't say that. No, it was just up to about here. Back in the guy's yard. Okay. It wasn't too bad, but the moisture just got in there and sat yeah. under that carpet for 20 years. Something because going in there wasn't worth the amount of guys it was going to cost. You got that done before you, Dave? It's empty, dude. 
That's worthless as a lubricant anyway. Is it? That's what one guy said. WD-40 is a worthless lubricant. Is that it's one of water, the comments? It's yeah. a water disperser or something. Yeah. <laughs> I like it because it's smoky. It's still better than J.B. Blaster. Mm. Roy Lester hates J.B. Blaster. It does stink. Roy good. called him up one day and he said, Don't ever suggest anything to me ever again. Because of the house smell? Called Joe up. Really? Yeah, because Joe recommended he use B.B. Blaster. He <laughs> said, I can't get the smell off my hands. been three days now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever suggest anything to me again, he said. It's <laughs> three days. Oh he was upset, Joe said. It's three per side, right? Yeah. Yeah. Three per side. What do you think about hitting it with some water? Springing it out, spraying the floor out. Spray this out really good. And then let it sit here and bake in the sun. Yeah, you're gonna... Get some of that funk out of there. You don't get any worse, is it? I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you. 
see all the dirt that came out from the other side. Oh yeah. Let's clean these windows up a little bit. Yeah, just spray it all. Wipe it down. Some of that crud off of there. Oh yeah. Hey, it's working. I thought it was black, it's actually dark blue. That's nice looking actually. Uh -huh. A little strong, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Half coat has been cured now. <laughs> wow, it's cleaning up nicely. Yeah, it is. God, too bad the floors don't look like that. Ooh. Well, we can fix the floors, maybe. There's something satisfying to that in there. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a product out there that'll restore this stuff. Probably, yeah. I've seen it. You could almost pressure wash that whole door and let it dry out in the sun. Because it's all plastic. I'm gonna take that off. We'll do that some other time. Because I bet it's nasty behind there. I'm sure that speaker is probably toast anyway. If there's even one in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing that got kept. The speakers. <laughs> got something funky going on there. The back of the speaker was leaking or something. Wow. Crazy how that dash just shined right up. Too bad it's got some cracks, but... Not too bad for an old beat up truck. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nice. Yeah, that looks original. Driver's side's all worn out. Mm -hmm. This ain't really a poker cleaner, but... That's getting that funk off there. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that's cleaning up good. Oh my God. Hey, look at this. I should have half and half look. Yeah. That's a great shot. Look at that. Just in a matter of, a, what, 30 seconds? Yeah. 
That's crazy. Yeah, that stuff cleans up pretty good. Hey. Ooh. Oh, man. Damn, that thing is so dirty. It's just 20 years of sitting in the swamp, and then yeah. who knows what went through the other 30 years that it was alive. I mean, the thing's 40, 50 years old. I can't believe how good it's actually cleaning mm -hmm. on this mesh part. That purple power is working pretty good on there. Yeah. Look at the front side, man. I know, I can't believe that. Look at that. And it's not brittle, you know? I know. It's, uh, other than that hole yeah. where he sat. Yeah, he probably ripped it with a tool one time and then it just got worse. Yep. Probably had a screwdriver in his pocket or something. Yep. No way. Get these seats back in, or this seat. It's all cleaned up now. And uh, we just want to get it back in now so we can move the truck around a little bit easier if we need to. We will be addressing these floors at some point. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see you on the next one.